All right, guys, we are back with the Sinking City. If you like the content, please like, comment. Wait a minute. Like, comment, and subscribe. So, we need to get back to the Crown Theater. And, of course, this is where I loaded me. But I've got to hit the like, comment, and subscribe button. So, I thought I would just carry on before I get into the boat. Anyway, in case you're wondering, you can actually fa well go faster in the boat as well. Um, if you hold down, this is regular speed, if you hold down R2, it goes faster, just like when you're running. But be careful in the boat, because the boat can capsize. Anyway, we'll be right back at the, uh, the theater. Alright guys, we're back at the theater, and we are working on self-defense. Came to the Crown Theater to meet Johannes Vanderberg. All I could find was Vanderberg's dead body. Haven't got any clues. We'll check out that area over there in a second. Let's have a look upstairs first. Hope you guys are doing well. Kind of chilling playing this game. As our material existence is not life, so our material destruction is not death. Monade possesses the ultimate power of transforming the world. Thus, being added to an odd number, it turns into an even. And added to an even makes it odd. For this world is nothing more than just a play of lights and shadows, dwarfed to insignificance in the endless corridor of angles yielded by mirrors that reflect each other. Hey, what's his last book over here? Pierre de Lalande, Repercussions and Reflections. I wonder if... Why is there a door? Oh, it's a stage door. All right. I forgot what I was going to say. I wonder if... Philosophe in Kanu. Selection of maxims and aphorisms. Why did it get so dark there? That was weird. Your humble servant. Theurgy of math. What's going on with the lighting there? Not sure what's happening. Anyway, let's uh, get down here. Have a look at these clues. Wear this. Kill Vanderberg, and your sweet new wife won't get hurt. Did they make it look like us? Was that why the cop was shooting us? Thirty-eight revolver shell casing. That's the same I'm using. Yeah, they're trying to make it like we did it. It appears someone tried to help him, but all in vain. Three shots to the gut, one through the heart. Quick death. Where is this? Repeat the verse after me. Naya ilya ogn ogn glui has thor fatarane ungi bunma. Let's 
And we'll, you know what? We haven't actually spent a lot of skill points. Holy crap, seven. Um, That might help things out a little bit. Remain sane longer. I don't really know what that does. Shotgun. Load two additional shells into the shotgun. Clean the streets with wider shotgun spread. Improve damage. Submachine gun. We haven't got an SMG yet. I would have to spend three points. Go with more life. And eating eels deal half damage while you're swimming. Every one more medic hit. Wow, we haven't actually spent all that. The blood stains are still wet. This phone was used recently. Let's try and put the pieces together. One, two, three, four. That's it. Step right in, my friend. Let me welcome you in this humble abode of mine. You ran. Can't you see we are having a seance? What are you? Mr. Vandenberg has been shot! Please send help! Okay, let's see what actually happened here. Ah, let me go through those again. Alright, so I'm thinking it's... One, step into step my right humble in, abode. my friend. Let me welcome you in this humble abode of mine. Two... They're having a seance. You see, we are having a seance. What are you? Ah! And he starts shooting. This guy runs. This guy calls Police? the cops. Police, Mr. Vanderberg has been shot. Please send help. Johannes Vanderberg was with a guest when the killer arrived and shot him. His visitor survived and used the phone to call the police. Okay, all evidence collected. Nice. Now... Curious. Someone's tried to frame us here. There was a second man at the site of Johannesburg's murder. When it happened, he could tell me more about it. Hello, was blackmailed. How do we find out who the second person was? Stop right there. Put your hands up and don't try anything stupid. What? Why? You're under arrest for the murder of Johannes Vanderberg. I didn't kill him. We have clear evidence against you and an eyewitness report. Take him in. A 
Let's have a look at our inventory. We still got our weapons on us. <laughs> All right, well, we're in prison. It's a tiny prison. Rise and shine, Detective Reed. Hope you've enjoyed your stay. Now, weren't you the man giving orders back at the Carpenter Manor? <laughs> to what do I owe the pleasure? You have an excellent memory, Reed. The name's Frank. Regardless, I'm here for you. Mr. Carpenter has put up your bail. I must confess, I'm, uh, pleasantly surprised. It seems helping Mr. Carpenter was a good choice after all. Well, you helped Mr. Carpenter, and now he returned the favor. The Carpenter family always pays its debts. Yeah, like the Lannisters. That's generous of Mr. Carpenter, but tell me, how did he know I was here? The Carpenter family has a long and proud history of supporting the Oakmont Police Department. Let's just say they keep us in the loop. I didn't kill anyone. Do you have any idea what's going on? Of course you didn't do it, Mr. Reed. The witness must be mistaken. No, seriously. I'm innocent. Okay, sir. Mr. Carpenter wishes to see you. I suggest you take up the matter with him yourself. Fine. Thank you. The evidence collected. Do I have anything to say? No. I've been charged by the police for the suspected murder of Johannes Vandenberg. Did not commit the crime, but there's witness against me. Till I used the gun identical to mine, and was wearing a hat similar to my own. I must learn who framed me and why to expose the truth, otherwise the police will lock me up. Mr. Carpenter wants me to meet him. In his manner, he bailed me out. And he could tell me more about the witness that accused me of murder. Killer was blackmailed, but there's no alibi. Oh? Nope. I don't have any proof of my innocence. I need to find evidence that someone else is responsible. You better start brown nosing Carpenter. If it were up to me, we'd have already thrown away the key. Sir, I didn't do a thing. Oh, really, newcomer? Uh, shall I read your record aloud? Go ahead. I'm a good citizen. <laughs> a good citizen with a shotgun. People like you are best kept in jail, if not the asylum. You're not so good with people, are you, officer? Men like you are why this city is a mess. You blow off locks and break into houses to ransack them. You stroll the streets with a loaded gun, firing at innocent passers-by. And don't you dare deny it. The work of a private eye does occasionally require some... Lateral thinking, but it's all in service of law and order. So you commit crimes to prevent crimes. Got it. The only mystery is why you haven't ended up here sooner. Just remember, if it weren't for your powerful friends, you'd still be rotten in Oakmont Jail. Hey, okay. all evidence collected at the police station. Nice. But we are heading to Carpenter Manor. Might as well just... Run out here and go there right now. Yeah, interesting game. Interesting. The story's like twisty. I like it. Anyway, this is top speed running. It took me a while to figure out. I didn't know which button it was. Look. Just press R2 and he sprints. I feel like I'm over, well, I'm around 90% through the game, so now I figured it out. Don't you have work to do? 
little blackmail, a little larceny, a worthwhile scrap or two. Just like the old days. That was the guy again? I think he's over here, right? Mr. Carpenter, glad to see you in good health. Yeah, I'm glad too, kid. It was hard to make it here in one piece after all that turmoil. I never expected this from my own son. I'm sorry for that. Eh, never mind. Nothing wine, women, and song can't fix. I'm still going strong, kid, if you know what I mean. Thanks for bailing me out. I wanted to thank you for bailing me out of jail. That was very helpful. Yeah, sure, kid. But you must understand that your freedom ain't yet insured. They still have a witness against you. Milton Pierce. I can make sure the police swallow whatever I feed them. But I need some morsels to offer. You get me, kid? You need evidence of my innocence. Find the one to blame and let my taskmaster know. Old Brutus will do the rest. Who's Milton Pierce? Who is this Milton Pierce? Ah, another rich rascal running for mayor. Nothing special. Just your typical Reed Heights scum. Do you know where I can find him? No idea, kid. From what I've seen in newspaper interviews, he's all over this town. What happened to Graham Carpenter? I didn't see Graham here. What happened to him? I had to ensure my own survival, kid. I don't think you want to know more than that. Thank you. I should go. Wait a second, kid. Take this. It's a fine tool for sticky situations. Make good use of it. Will do. Thanks. Yeah. Watch yourself, kid. Oh, he gave us the SMG. I was wondering where we got that. How you doing, handsome? All right, inventory. We've got this thing now, submachine gun. Too expensive for mass production. The M21 Chicago broom is favorite with private buyers. And we have 30 rounds. We, we don't need so much, but I'd like to get these maxed out. Need shell casings. Okay, let's go to the case book. He lives somewhere in Reed Heights, currently running for mayor. He had an interview in a newspaper recently. Yeah, the charges dropped. I need to find the man who actually murdered Johannes Vandenberg. I need to go to the newspaper area. Oakmont Chronicle, again. Okay, we want to find a witness. We are looking for people. An official. In Reed Heights. And an interview. He did an interview for a newspaper. Reed Heights. Today our correspondent had the chance to roam the beautiful alleyways of Eastern Reed Heights. All for the sake of interviewing one of the most promising political figures in Oakmont. Here's his property and apartment building tucked away on Museum Avenue between Communion Road and Heel Log Street. Definitely a grand sight, but Mr. Pierce takes pains to assure he is in touch with the needs of the humble man, meeting regularly with his community leaders. Hey, um, Reed Heights? We haven't been here much. Eastern between uh, on Museum Avenue between Helog and Communion. Helog Communion Museum Ab between Helog and Communion. So he's somewhere in here. Might be faster from here. I think it's faster from here and going up. Yeah, we are in the area, and I just see a thing up there on the side, a sign. Anyway, I'll look around. Is 
There's a marking on the door. Don't see any of those. This guy sure had some blood on his hands. Literally. Um. Wow, 30 ammo just right away. Can't have any in hand, I guess. taking his election campaign very seriously. Note that my earnest friend, it's been a while since we last met. I wish to remind you that my door is always open for you. Pay me a visit. How about we finally hold that seance we've been talking about for so long. Expect to see you at the Crown Theatre soon. From this day forward, a new vision will guide our city. From this day forward, it will be Oakmont first. Uh, every decision made on trade, on fishery, on newcomers, and in some others will be made to benefit people of Oakmont. We must protect our boundaries from the citizen, from the city, or both outsiders and the forces of nature. Let's make Oakmont great again, just like America. Easy. Planning to become the Prince of Oakmont, or is this just some light reading? Yeah, I'm not gonna read all that. You candidate for mayor, though. Emptier than a banker's heart. Someone got changed here in a hurry. Hats on the ground. I definitely kept some dirty clothes here. You can see the blood splatter. Okay, hey, we got a vision, but let's just check out this area first. Quite the differences we might have in the past, and but admit that today I see you as one of the most promising candidates for mayor. The shape is familiar. I've seen similar daggers before. Mr. Pierce, on behalf of the community, I want to express a huge gratitude for everything you do for us. Very few take, uh, very few of the stakeholders here show compassion to the Innsmouth descendants, and you are a rare exception. Please accept this dagger as a sign of friendship, proof while we maintain. Action. No one from our side will dare harm you. Here we got one, two, and three, three and four. The, the blood was spurting out of him, Robert, just spurting out. Oh, it's all over me. Ah, where's my dang tie? I should have been at City Hall by now. Voters won't meet and greet themselves. Get these out of my sight, Robert. Isn't that why we have a laundry room downstairs? Oh, I missed one. Time to figure this out. Um... I think it's this. The, the blood was spurting out of him, Robert. Just spurting out. Oh, it's all over me. Ah, where's my dang tie? 
Get these out of my sight, you can Robert. Stop. Isn't that why we have a laundry room downstairs? Milton Pierce came home covered in blood. He ordered his butler to take his clothes downstairs and went to meet voters at City Hall. Nice. All evidence collected. Let's go. Mine place. Killer was blackmailed. Bloody clothes. Bloody clothes on Pierce's house can be used as evidence against him. Still, I need something more to accuse him. Okay, Milton Pierce came home with cl uh, clothes stained with blood. Ordered his butler to take them to the laundry room downstairs. And went to meet with potential voters at City Hall. Downstairs we go. Based on past experience, leaving it here was not the best idea. The smell of blood can attract all sorts of unwanted visitors. We're not getting into a fight, are we? Why can't we have a mission where we don't have to kill anything? I like the the mystery part of the game. I like the uh, detective work. I'm not a big fan of the combat. I feel like it's just added in here for no reason. Just It doesn't fit. That makes sense. I forgot I have a flashlight. Okay, we are going to City Hall, I believe. Yep, City Hall. Which is... Right here. Back to City Hall, let's get going. I don't know if I need more weapon in here. I don't think there's any enemies. Got some innocents here, so... Milton Pierce. Good day, Mr. Pierce. Bet you didn't expect to see me. How are you here? You should be in jail. I have good friends who bailed me out. I just want to talk. Well, okay. If you wish. Why did you frame me? Why did you claim I did it? Excuse me? Why wouldn't I? A friend of mine was killed. Why should I let that go? Tell me what you really saw. You saw the real killer. Tell me who it was. Want to know what I saw? I saw a bloody newcomer rush in, murder Johannes, and stroll out like it was no big deal. How do you know it was a newcomer? You know I didn't do it. Quite the opposite, Reed. I saw your face. Or are you going to claim it wasn't yours? It's his word against mine. You're certain it was a newcomer. How can you be so sure? Trust me. Oakmanas know a newcomer when they see one. We locals can tell. You seem like a rational man, Pierce. Can't we come to an arrangement? Are you attempting to bribe a politician, Mr. Reed? What makes you think I'd accept such an offer? I'm sorry. I must be thinking of a different Milton Pierce. Let me tell you, my beloved mother is so old and so rich. I'll miss her dearly when she's gone. Well, 
That's a non sequitur. Mr. Reed, how do I put this? I find my campaign hamstrung by a distinct lack of resources. Ah, so it's about the money after all. I fear that all the budget pressures are affecting my cognition. If the situation were improved, perhaps I'd see things more clearly. For instance, I might suddenly realize I'd mistaken you for someone else. You could even remind me of whom. How about I kill you instead? I was to kill his mom. How could you propose such a thing? Against your own mother, no less. You're a heartless monster. I won't do it. Don't get emotional, Reed. Go for a walk, breathe the salty air, then picture your execution. Perhaps with some perspective, you'll reconsider. I doubt it. Whatever you say, sir. I'll just leave you this bottle and her address anyway. And Reed, don't come back here after. People shouldn't see me with you. Hey. This request. Killer was blackmailed. A suspected newcomer. Milton Pierce is correct. The man who shot Vandenberg is a newcomer. I learned that he married recently and was forced to commit the crime out of fear for his family. There should be a marriage license somewhere that may help me find him. Marriage license. That will be in City Hall, I think, right? I think that's in City Hall. We should check the records. We're looking for a newcomer. Have a look. So it would be after the flood. Subject. Newcomer. Period after the flood. Legal documents because he just got married. Hereby certify that Glenn Gordon Byers and Evelyn Catherine Lane residing at the Revenue House, corner of Powder House Street and Orchard Ave. Eastern Shells were united in marriage in accordance with the license issued by the city of Oakmont, Massachusetts. Marriage license, that's where we're going. I'm not going to poison his mom. That's rough. A marriage license. Eastern Shells. Uh, corner of Powder House and Orchard. Orchard and Powder House. Right here. Alright, we're at the location, and there's the only house that we can access. This door will be hard to fix. <laughs> Walk right in. Are you Glenn Byers? Yes. Who are you? Charles Reed, P.I. The guy taking the fall for your murder. Okay. How did you find me? Are you serious? I'm a private eye. Now don't make this any worse for yourself and answer my questions. Why did you murder Johannes Vanderberg? I had no choice. I am an honest man, sir. I have a family. My, my sweet Evelyn and Michael, her... Our son. I didn't want to do it, but they had him hostage. I, I don't even know Johan or whatever he's called. Looks similar, don't we? You and I look rather similar, wouldn't you say? How is that possible? I... I don't know. 
this is the face I was born with. I'm just as confused as you are. Do you have any relatives in Boston? Not that I know of. Uh, my family is from Providence, Rhode Island. <sighs> just another of this town's oddities to add to the list. Who took your family? Do you know who's responsible? Uh, it was a, a gang. I I'd never seen any of them before. Uh, this guy gave me a gun. Uh, uh, Will? Maybe? Uh, but I, I don't know if he was anyone special. That's all I know. I swear. Tell me exactly how it all happened. Uh, they broke into our house while I was out. I, I came home and found the broken door. Uh, there were signs of a struggle, but my family... Poor Ethelin. They were gone. You never thought to report their abduction. Why not get help from the police? I wanted to call the coppers. I did, but they sent... They sent me... Drunk, I can't. It's still on the table. I have no guts to touch it. <sighs> I'll need to inspect the place where it happened. If you have to, it's next door. I locked it so no one can get in. And so I don't have to look at it again. Okay, let's say I believe you. You've done the deed, so where are your wife and son now? I don't know. The gang leader promised they'd be released, but they haven't returned. Please, I realize I'm in no position to ask, but can we make a deal? Depends on the offer. I am guilty. I took a life, but you have shouldered the blame. I will turn myself into the police and make this right. When I hand over the weapon, they will have to believe me, but I can't do it until I know my family is safe. Right. So I rescue your family to save my own skin. In a nutshell, yes. So what's your answer? Uh... You killed a man, framed me for the crime, and now dare to ask for help. Are you out of your mind? I... Uh... Yes, you. I'm going to make sure you get everything you deserve. You can think about what you did behind bars. You've still got the murder weapon, don't you? I... I can't give it to you. It's the only way I can save my family. Okay. You see this revolver? If you don't cooperate, it's going to be the object of your murder. So hand it over. Now. Okay, uh, okay. Uh, I hid it in the kitchen downstairs. Just... Please don't shoot me. Kitchen downstairs. What's the bet that he's framing us? Alright, let's... Look at this stuff. He hid it in the kitchen downstairs. The buyers and I look alike. Milton Pierce knows. Did not murder Johannesburg. Good citizen. Reason he's setting me up. Pierce really believes he saw me at the crime scene. Mr. Glambire's face for my own. Alright, just needed a second there. Killer was blackmailed. Poor victim was forced to commit a crime. Nice guy and our buyers killed a man and must face the consequences. Kitchen downstairs.
Make sure we got a weapon handy. Really? Three bullets? Still can't find any metal. There is a basement. Oh, I can't believe I... Oh my god. I was gonna say, I can't believe I got all those, and then of course I take damage. So good. At least I got one with these bullets, which was surprising. That's a rare spirit. I'd like you to have a bottle from before Prohibition. Congratulations on your wedding from Sister Peg. I was thinking he was setting me up, but... All evidence collected, nice. All right, checking out the mine palace. No alibi. We got the murder weapon. Fires' gun was the murder weapon. It directly implicates him in the crime. Whoever is found with the gun will be implicated with the murder. Could be planted to frame someone else. We frame Milton Pierce. Hmm. Milton Pierce tried to frame me, so I'm returning the favor. If I plant the gun amongst his bloody clothes and take a picture, Mr. Carpenter should consider it sufficient evidence against him. That is a way down. Oh, that guy lost his leg. Damn, some good loot. Three of them that were big loot boxes. Got two of those. Damn, three bullets. Everything else is good. Oh, wait, I can make more of those.
Yeah, let's go one more round. Just because I just um, crafted a few things. And there are three. There's the garbage can. Oh, there's this one. I don't have all the stuff collected at his apartment. I'm gonna go back up and have a look around. There used to be some writing here, but it's been washed off, at least partially. Still has a wedding ring on. What kind of monster does that? There's a note in the envelope. Seems like you're reluctant to do the job. Here's a little something to motivate you. Get on with it. Ouch. Maybe we should have helped him out. So, the home of a suffragette, huh? Old, but clean and shiny. That's definitely been taken good care of. Way we came in, nothing over here, nope. <sighs> the door won't budge. I haven't got everything. What am I to do now? Anything? door will be hard to fix I don't know what I'm missing let me have another look back at the apartment not taking any chances because you know it's gonna be having some enemies Damn, this gun was sick. I need to make more ammo. Ah, oh, that's all I can make. One bullet. Okay, and now I need to take a picture of it. Frame him. <laughs> it walks in as if uh, nothing's happened. There any loot in here? Cause I really Someone need loot. Got changed here in a hurry. No, there wasn't. Damn it! I might go back to that other spot and, and see if I can find some. Yeah, I didn't get all the evidence here. I feel like I can't get it. I looked around multiple times, but uh, yeah, it wasn't there. 
Hill was blackmailed. Both them pierced the cell out. Okay. For the photo, I have to show it to the carpenter taskmaster as evidence of his guilt. Should be enough to prompt the police to search his manor and charge him with the murder instead of me. So the note says to show it to the carpenter taskmaster. Um, so I'm heading to Carpenter's Manor. I think this guy is the taskmaster right here. I have proof that it was Milton Pierce that killed Johannes Vanderberg. Show me what you've got. The murder weapon is in his house and a pile of bloody clothes. Here's a photograph. I don't know how you managed to pull this off, Reed, but it's impressive work. We'll take it from here. Accusing a mayoral candidate of murder is an interesting challenge, but the Carpenter family has tackled worse. Bye. What is this? You've been doing a great job, Mr. Reed. I'm waiting for you at the Devil's Reef Hotel. That's an invitation. Where was the Devil's Reef Hotel again? Devil's Reef. Wasn't that in... There it is. Devil's Reef. Yeah, in we go, Devil's Reef. It wasn't there loot in the back. Not much. Oh yeah, and even that church, which is just right here. So when you go there, that nice chest, which has a ton of loot in it, is gone. All the little ones are there still on the main floor and down below in the basement, but this guy's alive. What the hell? How? How is this possible? At last, Mr. Reed. I heard about your recent case. Let me congratulate you. You've truly outdone yourself this time. A question, if I may. I've got a question. How on earth are you still alive? What can I say? Perhaps next time you should make sure you finished the job. It wasn't me and you know it. All this. All I went through and there was no murder to begin with. The prosecution would beg to differ. They had all they needed. A victim, a method, and a culprit. The rest is just bells and whistles. You set me up. You son of a... I only set the scene. I'll... What? Kill me? As amusing as it would be to see you charged with my murder a second time, I'm afraid we have more pressing matters. What do you mean? You know exactly what I mean, Mr. Reed. The prophecy. The seal. You have made yourself a part of something momentous. Now, to your latest case. Wonderful execution all round. And I mean that literally. The hanging has been scheduled for next week. Tell me, Mr. Reed, why did you do it? Why condemn a man of such high station for a crime he did not commit? Committed plenty more crimes. He testified against me and conspired to have his mother killed. Indeed. His corruption was common knowledge, yet you were the only one who acted upon it. Regardless, I shall call this experiment a success. In fact, you should consider it the taste of your ultimate trial. I don't understand. What do you get from all this? You are headed into the darkness, Mr. Reed. I'm giving you the experience you'll need to find your way through it. No more riddles, Johannes. 
If you need something from me, talk. I am. You're just not listening. You have a great destiny. Destiny beyond comprehension. To be more than a speck of cosmic dust. To make waves across the universe. To end things. And what? Everything. You've suffered in this city from the very beginning. From the moment you were born, in fact. Wanting to end it is only natural. But unlike those untold millions before you, you have the power to do so. You can turn mere prophecy into absolute truth. You don't mean... The seal of Kotiganar is in your hands. You possess the key to the gates, and all they hold within. You can close them and cling to mankind's misery for a few more cruel centuries. Or you can open them and end it. And you will do the latter. No, I will not. You don't know me. Oh, but I do. I've seen it more times than you can imagine. It always ends the same. Some poor soul faces their destiny only to discover they lack the stomach for it. And all they achieve is another futile cycle of suffering. Why? Why would I destroy everything? Because otherwise your life amounts to nothing. Do you know how many chosen few there have been over the centuries? Nameless hordes, sacrificed at the whim of invisible masters. Not unlike those who watered the poppies of Flanders with their blood. But our sacrifices mattered. We won the war. A war with many yet to come. This is your kin's nature, your purpose, to suffer. Your monkeys in an open cage, unwilling to walk out. Only you can make a difference. You can end it all for good. Johannes, you're vile. There is nothing more vile than futility. Watching this happen again and again and doing nothing. We are the agents of change, Mr. Reed. You're wrong. I'll prove it. You will prove nothing. You'll die. And at the next turn of the cycle, another will come along who is brave enough to finish the job. Nevertheless, I cannot abandon you, whether you agree with me or not. Your path is too important, even if your choice is beyond my control. You're right about one thing, at least. There is an archaeologist in this city. He is very close to unraveling the secret of Katiganar. And you'll need his help to get inside. His name is Joseph Hill. Here's his address. Talk to him. Earn his favor. This is wrong, Johannes. All of it. And I still have no idea why I should even believe you. The truth is the truth. Whether you believe it or not, you can accept it. Or try to put the blindfold back on. It doesn't matter. Farewell, Charles. Whether we speak again or not, I will be watching. And don't lose the seal again. Or all your effort in this city would go to waste. I wanted the trophy. <laughs> Head trap. Anyway, have a look. Let's find a way in. The only way that can help me is the local archaeologist Joseph Hill. He lives on Lumbert Street, Reed Heights, Eastern. There's Lumbert Street between Helog and Hale. Is around here somewhere? Hey, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Now we'll catch you in the next one.